Bum 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 bum. The Peter Dislike Show. Bum 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 bum. So we had three of the top ten banking failures this past month, and um, everybody is fleeing to uh, cryptocurrencies and what I would argue is a 5,000 year old cryptocurrency, right? It does have some applications, but it's more of a vehicle of speculation more than anything else, right? You, uh, you need very little of it to power your electronics for jewelry, more than anything else, right? We have a 5,000 year old, well, two of them actually, 5,000 year old cryptocurrencies that people are seemingly fleeing to um, the ancients had seven, seven cryptocurrencies, and over the last few centuries, we've discovered another 111 similar cryptocurrencies of the universe. Now we have 118. Some of these dissipate very quickly if you were to get a hold of them, uh, and um, uh, I would much rather have a cryptocurrency that actually has good use, right? Uh, even even for jewelry, I would argue it has even more uses than the yellow and the white stuff, right? You can't form hopper crystals with those two, right? Anyways, um, all the 118, as long as they don't decompose explosively, will probably carry your wealth to the next economic phase, right? But why buy something that everybody is just chasing for the greater fool, right? Buy a cryptocurrency that actually has utility to it, right? And it also has the distinction of being the heaviest one that doesn't, well, not noticeably radioactive, right? There, most of the, the the elements after iron are probably radioactive, just not noticeably, right? And bismuth is the heaviest one that doesn't just explode in your hand, right? All right, thought I would point that out. Don't fall for 5,000-year-old crypto. This is the Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 The Peter Dislike Show. Bum, 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 bum.